Hi guys, today is October 27th and here right now it is reading week for the Royal College of Arts students. Um, but it actually has been a pretty busy week for me and my other course mates since we are basically playing catch up on some big group projects that are due in under a month right now. Today is going to be a little bit more of a fun day while we'll also be doing work today as well with my project group. Um, so I thought it would be fun to do a vlog for today. We are going to be going to a couple exhibitions today, so I'm really excited. Let's get into it. So I first started my day by going through my planner and writing any important to-dos. Then I left my student housing and walked to the first exhibition that was in 180 Strand. I knew it was going to be a long day, so I went and grabbed a cappuccino from pret a -Manger. Since I have a coffee subscription, I highly recommend it. I decided not to take the tube because honestly I prefer walking and it was only 35 minutes and it's just a great way to get to know the city better. I love passing by Big Ben and the other big attractions in Westminster. Although it is super touristy, I still feel like a tourist in London. I have only been living here for two months. Finally, I reached the 180 studios and entered the Life Forms exhibit by Universal Everything. Once I got downstairs, we had some refreshments while we waited for the rest of our group mates to come. Eventually, we went inside and we got to experience the first of the 14 projects within the Life Forms exhibit. It is coded for the microorganisms to move and grow with the pulse of sound, depicting their free form movement. Its interpretation can be abstract or figurative. One interesting thing about many of these projects is that they are coded or computer generated, so you will never see the same moving image artwork more than once. In this project, it explores the relationship between humans and AI. It is a digital mirror that responds to human movement in a robotic shape or form. <laughs> I won't go into detail on every single project. A lot of them have a similar vibe, but I definitely recommend visiting the Life Forms exhibit in 180 Studios. After the exhibit, me and my course mates, we decided to grab lunch at ZZ's Pizza. It was really nice. After that, some of us decided to take the tube and get off at Kensington so that we could work at the Royal College of Art campus. We went upstairs to go and do our work for a few hours on our group project that is a VR immersive experience. Then we finally left campus and took the tube, which was super busy, all the way to Canning Town for the second exhibition. We waited for our other friend to come, then we crossed the Canning Town Bridge, which honestly looks more aesthetically pleasing in the video than in real life. We eventually reached the Future Pass exhibit in our bike gallery. A lot of the work is futuristic using historical and archaeological sites from the past. The work here was created by a group of artists, including a Royal College of Art alumni. Here, this project shows an Aztec artifact being digitally reimagined. After it had been a long day, so we decided to get snacks and drinks and decided to chill in Canning Town. We only stayed for about an hour, then we all took the two back home. I was really exhausted and tired, but also feeling really happy and grateful. And I finally reached home to my student accommodation. Oh my god, it has been such a long day. I am finally back home. It is literally like 10 o'clock here. Um, but today was a really long day, but it was a really good day. So I feel really, really grateful and appreciative. Um, just some thoughts on today. It was really cool to go to both art exhibitions. And I feel like it was great to see the perspectives of the artists in their exhibition work. It was really interesting to see especially in the first exhibition that we went to in the beginning of the day, exploring that relationship between sound and the environment or whether it was with dance and uh, technology. There were a lot of really cool installations that I got to see there. And I think there was also in general a lot of visual inspiration that I could take from these exhibitions. So I'm really excited. And lastly, I think I'm just super grateful for the 
course mates that I have in my program and my project group. So I'm really excited about how the project will continue and progress. So um, that's all for now and I'll catch you in the next video.